Hi, this is Farrell Dalrymple, and I'm wrapping up the very last of the 2020 drawings that I was doing. I actually wrapped them up last year, uh, but uh, I just had like three left to do um, as a post here on YouTube for my Patreon, my sadly neglected Patreon. Sorry, guys. I'm working on a new post. It's just everything going on. It's been, yeah, it goes without saying, I guess. <laughs> It's kind of nuts. Um, so uh, this uh, first one here is a tad drawing. For the last three, I decided to do basically reverse or like new versions, but like kind of reverse poses of the first three I did last year for 2020. And um, yeah, this uh, this guy, Tad, he's in the wrenchies. He's one of the post-apocalyptic kids. Uh, and he doesn't talk. He's, he's based off a character from one of my favorite movies, Over the Edge. It's a... Uh, 1979 movie about these kids who uh, are bored in this town and they end up like rioting at a school and, and all this other stuff. It's not like a science fiction movie or anything, but uh, it's, a, it's a good movie and I, it has a great soundtrack and I recommend checking it out. But uh, yeah, Todd, he's a tad, sorry, he's, uh, he's based off one of the kids in that movie, he doesn't talk and wears these like kind of new wave sunglasses. So I, I, I put uh, Cyclops style from the x-men style goggles on on this kid and he's very similar to that other kid <laughs> he doesn't really say anything but he's uh brothers to one of the char other characters jad and yeah, here i'm actually doing uh real time instead of a time lapse or at least for the hair part which it in this particular part of the, the stage watercolors that always looks great to me like i just watched the alex uh alex ross video who's a really prolific and impressive watercolor superhero artist at, uh, and just kind of watching him paint like a wolverine while he's like chatting it was really impressive like his mastery of the watercolor medium just uh, something I don't, something i don't think i have it's a lot of mine is like feel like it's, it's even after years it's still trial and error so um yeah it's interesting it's like the first little bit of color i lay down sometimes i'm like oh that looks great I like that and then <laughs> I just keep working on it and then ends up you know I bet could make that look a little better and then it's I don't know it sort of like loses something to me um but uh yeah I don't know I'm just, uh, trying to enjoy the uh the whole the whole journey here uh, the whole process of uh I guess being an artist and doing this stuff and uh this video here is not going to be my last video i'm just uh i know it's been like a week or probably a little longer than a week since i did the last one and i wanted to keep uh keep doing these at least like you know once a week or every other week or something for uh 2021 so i thought like i would you know not every day necessarily but try just like a few times a week to do like a, a 21 minute drawing and probably not a watercolor thing like this because this, these things always take me longer than 20 minutes it's uh i think like this one probably took me like an hour just for like the watercolor part uh the inking went pretty quick i don't uh um it, but the uh yeah just kind of depend depending on like my frame of mind whatever day and if i don't like have a clock in front of me i tend to get kind of lost in the, the process but um yeah i'm still working on getting faster and this year i want to yeah, like I said, keep making these videos. So, uh, right here I'm uh, using a, I think it's a, uh, it's a Raphael brush, but it's a lot smaller than the the ones I use for inking. I just kind of started using these smaller brushes because I was working so small on these, and I like it. I mean, I like having these smaller brushes around, but um, yeah, it just kind of takes longer, and I don't. It doesn't seem <laughs> uh, that I'm really uh, trying to uh, speed up the process here at all. But uh, like I said, these were. Uh, these first three in this video, Tad and Emily and Almendra, they're all from comic books that I make. And uh, excuse me if you heard all this spiel before, but uh, Tad is from the Wrenchies. And uh, it's published by First Second. It came out in 2014. It's 304 pages, I think. Uh, yeah, because the register is usually in, uh, or always in, uh, eights, the eight page increment. So yeah, 304 pages. And, um, uh, yeah, he's, he's a, kind of like an explosive expert and 
Uh, I thought I'd throw in a couple of Wrenchy's pages too that he's featured in. And you can get all these on the Beguiling. I, I on purpose picked pages from the Wrenchies that they still have available. So if you go to the Beguiling website, there's a link to it in the description here in the video. Uh, you can purchase those pages, original watercolors from the uh, New York Times bestselling book. <laughs> uh, this this drawing was a uh, not exactly reverse angle, but uh, I, I had, a, I think, a drawing of her standing holding the guitar, like an electric guitar. And uh, this one, I just, uh, I looked at a couple pictures, just kind of get, I, I sort of did like a loose uh, drawing, a sketch. And then I looked at a couple pictures of people. It was really hard to find that angle, but uh, people holding guitar kind of from behind. Um, I really should just start taking reference photos myself, but I just spent hours on Google. But there's a there's the finish and here's some pages. Uh, I decided to keep hers in, in black, kind of black and white grayscale mode, but uh, these are all uh, pages from Popkin War Chain Letter, which is the second volume of Popkin War, where Emily is sort of featured as the, I guess, the main character. Uh, the first volume, Sinclair, her brother, was kind of the main character in this one. she's goes into these like tunnels and watches these stories about people she knows in her life. It's kind of like an Alice in Wonderland-y type thing, and also uh, it's like a Seven Seal type vibe is kind of what I was, <laughs> what I was going for, but um, yeah, it's... Uh, this one here is Almendra, and this is the last of the uh, 2020, 2020 drawings. And uh, yeah, I just she's it's basically the same character, but she's kind of a she's got a different outfit on, and she's walking in the opposite direction. And I have this little like magic sci-fi little elf air filter thing on her face because I don't know it just felt kind of timely or something. But thought oh she's in the post-apocalyptic future, she probably could have trouble breathing because but she would deal with it with like magic or something you know and this is the i think maybe the one of the few pages i had for sale at the beguiling from uh it will hurt it was a, a cover that i did for issue three and this is my uh cat pinkson and uh, i did this for my mother uh, for christmas which i still haven't given her but i did inside a sketchbook that it's like an empty sketchbook that, you know, she can use as a journal or something like that. And um, that was the first drawing I did this year. I think I did it on January 1st. And uh, yeah, and this was uh, another sketch that I did. And uh, I don't, I might have done this the second or third. I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but um, I did a, a couple this day. And you can see I'm actually inking this on top of a page that I was <laughs> working on of a my, one of my paying gigs, uh, or my main my main gig now, uh, it's a, a children's book that I'm working on, and I can't really show art from it yet. But um, yeah, this guy was just something I felt like drawing. I, I have this old National Geographic where there's a bunch of different costumes, holiday costumes, and um, I just I I kind of get inspiration from that without hopefully without doing like cultural appropriation. I don't want to like <laughs> offend any cultures, but it seemed like you know they were most from like. I don't know, Euro cultures, and I, uh, I was just kind of taking little elements from different things um, that I liked and changing them enough, hopefully, where it wouldn't look like I was ripping any anything off. But um, I'm also not, like, profiting from that drawing, as I think uh, that, uh, that one, actually, I probably will try to sell my Patreon, but uh, most of these, like this one here, I, I did for my sister, so I haven't given it to her yet, but... Um, yeah, and this one, I just, uh, I think this was for one of her kids, and I, I just started drawing without doing a video, and I was like, oh, I should try to do a little time lapse of this while I'm, you know, I'm just kind of freehand drawing, and I'm not penciling it or anything first. This was just sort of like my uh, looking at Richard Scarry drawing children's book, and then kind of comboing it with my, like, It Will Hurt and Wrenchy's type of vibe, where these look these anthropomorphic magical creatures running around. Um, it's like Chronicles of Narnia, or anything like that, where it's like, there's kind of like, it's sort of a children's book vibe, but kind of a scary, creepy thing, you know, like Edward Gorey type vibe too, hopefully. <laughs> it's like creepy and cute is sort of the thing that I try to do with a lot of my my little doodles and stuff. And this here is same thing, I just another drawing for one of my sister's kids. Uh, I don't know if they'll like these or what, but <laughs> it's, uh, I, it's kind of broke and didn't couldn't give any one pre Christmas presents this year and everything going on. It's like, you know, COVID and all that stuff. I haven't been hanging out with anybody. Um, I'm going to see two people, like one person once a week and another person like maybe once a month. And then, you know, I'm just like self quarantining with, you know, um, yeah. And this is the, uh, it's like a spaceman 
spaceman guy, you know, and <laughs> just kind of a quick, uh, quick doodle. It's something easy for me to do. And, um, I don't know, hopefully someone will like it, but, uh, yeah, and this next one here, uh, I didn't have a, a video of, but I like the drawing, and I, I did this freehand too, right? I didn't pencil it first. And this is the second to last one here in this, this first batch of this year. And I'll probably just keep doing these little little doodles here and making videos out of them, but I, I want to start, I don't know, doing more like, hey, here's my studio and that kind of stuff. So if you guys got any suggestions or questions or anything like that please hit me up in the comments or hit me up on instagram or you know email me my uh email is feraldow at gmail if you want to like shoot me a line and say hey i'd like to see stuff like this like yeah that's that great i love it uh particularly in the comment section i like i like when people leave comments but uh yeah check out my patreon too if you want two dollars a month for the lowest tier and Thanks a lot, guys, uh, for watching these, and I couldn't have made it through last year without you. Bye.